Hey guys, this is Brad Duffy from NN Studios. And you can tell that you can see my setup. I don't know, everybody's doing videos on uh, how to hook up their Dazzle or their capture device. I'm going to show y'all how to hook up mine. I've been looking around uh, for the first time I ever used my Dazzle. And uh, I had to look around pretty much a good bit to learn how to use my Dazzle DVC 100, as in the white Dazzle, if you're wondering. So I'm going to show you how to hook it up. You can tell I have my USB in input into my uh, computer right now. And my computer is hooked up to my TV, and my Xboxes are hooked up to my TV too. So I'll show you how to do back there. Make sure your all your CDs are already installed onto your computer. Make sure you do that first. And then you come back here, guys, and all you do is make sure your AV cable it comes with your Xbox 360. And if you have a slim, it will not look like this. I'm pretty sure. It's, and if you have an HD DMI, you can't do this unless you have like an HD capture card, like an HD PVR. And this costs like a hundred some dollars, maybe two hundred. But yeah, okay. Make sure your cable, your AV cable, switch on to TV. And then uh, just put this shit back in your back in your Xbox. Make sure your Dazzle. You have all the original input video cables into your Dazzle. The yellow, red, and white. Make sure all you have to do is match up the color, and if your Dazzle is all working, uh, I'll have that green light on. But then all you need to do is hook up your HD colors, HD cable input cables that come with the same cord, your your, uh, your AV cable, Jaw Beam 1. See? You can tell it just splits off into two different cords and then into your Dazzle. And one into your HD TV or HD inputs, and this works as your splitter, guys. So you don't need splitters. Don't worry about any of that. So you can tell there's a uh, red, green, and blue. And just make sure this plugged into your TV all dandy. And all you need to do is hook all that up. Make sure your dev is installed, and I'll meet you on my computer. Hey guys, it's uh, BJ Halo here, or Fred Duffy, whatever you wanna call me. Um, I'm on my computer now, as you can see, and I'm just going to teach you a few little tricks with instant DVD recorder or whatever you use to Dazzle or capture device. So make sure you have it open and it's connected with your Dazzle or your, any of your capture device, your white Dazzle, your black, your red maybe, uh, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's all nice and dandy. If you're using with, if you're following me with an instant DVD recorder and with a Dazzle DVD 100 with the white Dazzle, it looks whatever. Everything's plugged up from the first bar I showed you, and you should have your screen working with you, with your Xbox, and of course, I know for a fact you do not want to play off the screen, because it's slow, it's like a half a second late after you do something, if you move your controller, stuff like that, but, but it, so when you have everything, when you have everything ready, you can just click start recording, it's all dandy, but, y'all are probably worried about the splitter problem, because, video make sure you have an HD input on the back of your computer screen or TV screen I have a TV screen I just use it as my computer screen too guys and all you need to do is make sure your TV has a PC screen so you can just switch it to PC which I'm at right now or you can switch it straight to uh, AV2 mine's AV2 because that's the input that's what the input's called and that's pretty much just like the signal it goes through from your Xbox to your TV, whatever. So pretty much just switch it to TV mode from wherever input your Xbox is on. And then you can start playing on it. Of course, the only bad thing about this is if you don't have a desktop like me and pretty good speakers, and you're working off your laptop, you have to listen to your sound through your computer. Of course, because you won't sound working on your recordings and all that jazz so if you don't like this you can always get splitters that cost not that much money about I believe five dollars each maybe less I don't really don't know and pretty much it and I'll teach you how to record I'll record a little bit for y'all here I'll uh, most people keep this to 10 minutes because that's the recording max time for YouTube so I'll just start recording for y'all oh yeah and uh when you start recording, this is the default where it goes. So it goes into C, whatever, temp. 
I'll show you where that is in a minute. You say yes. You can change where it goes to. It's just, I think it's better for me just to keep it there because I know it's always there. You start recording and then you can see the recording time and all this and start recording. You just play, play Halo Reach. I always play Halo Reach and I'll uh, record a little bit for y'all. And as y'all can see, I know you probably don't want to watch me sit here and start recording a little bit, but so I'll have a little recording clip to play with y'all with or play with y'all that sounds really bad but here we go recording a little bit Halo Bridge is being real slow here we go come on don't want to watch you there we go okay there we go guys I think that's good enough I'll just stop it right here just press stop recording might take a little minute then it'll say uh, done your disc is, disc is ready you can play, do blah, 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 blah. Don't click start over unless you messed up on it and you want to start over. Just click exit. And then if it's on the, if you put, if you made it so it's saved to a different area, go to that area. Or if you made it default, all you need to do is keep the C colon slash, whatever that's called, and type in temp. Click enter. And then you should see this folder right here. Don't click on it. And then make sure you click this right here, VTS underscore zero one zero one dot V O B. And always put it into a folder, maybe just name it a uh, video test. I guess if you're testing it for the first time, I don't care what you name it, and just drag and drop it to wherever you want it to be. Make sure if you're filming more than one thing a day, you always rename it. Or if you don't, 